everybody, welcome to the Headlamp 200 instructional video. In this guide, we're gonna cover the following. Overview, lighting modes, fit adjustment, recharging, cleaning, and then set up for the optional light diffusing stuff sack. Let's get started. The Headlamp 200 is comprised of the following components. An articulating front LED panel featuring a 200 lumen spotlight and red flood light, a single power button to access lighting modes and control brightness, the adjustable moisture wicking headband, and a micro USB rechargeable battery located on the side of the front panel. On the back of Headlamp 200's front panel, you'll find your serial number. Use this to register your headlamp on the BioLite warranty page. When unboxing your Headlamp 200 for the first time, it'll come programmed in lock mode. So you might press it, it'll flash twice, and then turn off. That's on purpose, that's to preserve the battery. We'll get you out of that right now. Press and hold the power button for eight seconds. The spotlight will flash white one time and you can now access all modes. The lighting modes rotate through the following sequence. Red flood, white spot, red strobe, white strobe, and off. To access your desired mode, click the power button in half second increments until you reach your setting. Here it is in real time so you can get the rhythm. One, two, three, four, off. One more time. One, two, three, Four, off. If you wait too long in between clicks, your Headlamp 200 may turn off. No problem. Just click it back on and press to your desired mode. Your headlamp comes programmed with memory, meaning it will turn on to its last remembered setting. The memory setting will last for 12 hours before returning to the default setting. When in white spot or red flood, you can dim the headlamp by pressing and holding. When it blinks, it's as low as it can go. To brighten, press and hold again. It'll blink at its brightest setting. The unit also has a lock mode feature that you can use to prevent your Headlamp 200 from accidentally turning on in your pack or while in transit. To enter lock mode, press and hold the power button for eight seconds while the headlamp is off. The headlamp will flash twice in white. This means you've successfully locked your unit. Now, if there are any accidental presses, it'll only flash, no battery wasted. To exit lock mode, press and hold again for eight seconds. It will flash once in white, and your headlamp is now unlocked and ready to access all light settings. The Headlamp 200 fits kids and adults alike thanks to the Easy Adjust Band. For a comfortable and high performance fit, place the headlamp on your head, and then you're gonna use the two adjustment clips in unison. To tighten the band, pull the clips away from the back of your head. To loosen the band, push the clips toward the back of your head. It's important to use the clips in unison to keep your headband balanced, so try to avoid just pulling on one side. To adjust the direction of your light, you can move the LED panel up and down easily with one hand. Using the traction from the rubber power button, guide the front panel downward. To adjust back up, push gently on the front of your panel. The rechargeable headlamp has run times of up to three hours on max brightness and 40 hours on low. After you turn your Headlamp 200 off, the floodlight will flash. That will give you feedback on how much juice is left in your battery. Two green blinks, it's more than 50% full. Two red blinks, it's less than 50% full. Four red blinks, your Headlamp 200 is out of juice and needs to be recharged. To recharge your unit, tilt the front panel down and connect via the micro USB port located on the side. You can charge from USB power sources at home or on the go. To confirm the unit is charging, the floodlight will slowly pull screen. When your headlamp is fully charged, that green light will shut off and disengage charging. The moisture wicking smart fabric keeps you cool and dry during activity and features three bonded layers that protect your electronics from any sweat. You can sponge clean the inside of your band using warm water and mild soap or detergent, but don't dunk it or run it under a pouring faucet. If you have the light diffusing stuff sack, which is sold separately, you can easily turn your Headlamp 200 into a hangable lantern. Fold your headlamp so the band collapses into a half circle. With the LED panel facing down, feed one side of the band through the inner loop located inside of the stuff sack, and then do the same thing with the other side. This suspends your headlamp in the middle of the sack for an even glow. Turn the unit on, give it a cinch, and it's ready to hang as a lantern. Easy rechargeability and a perfect fit. That's the Headlamp 200. From all of us here at BioLite, thanks for watching. We're looking at a new HC65 headlamp from Nightcore in today's video. 
This upgrade to the popular HC60 headlamp includes new red and high CRI output to give this already powerful headlamp even more utility. A primary Cree CML2 U2 LED produces a 1000 lumen beam with 120 yards of throw. Useful for everything from cycling and caving to setting up camp and more. The main output can be adjusted through 5 brightness levels for complete control. For up close work and reading, switch to the secondary high CRI output which offers up to 26 lumens of warm, sunlight-like light. If you're trying to preserve your night vision or signal to others, use the secondary 11 lumen red output. This mode is also useful for hunting as the red light is invisible to many predators' eyes. The HC65 is controlled entirely via a conveniently located dual switch. Similar to camera shutter, the button will react differently depending on how hard it is pressed. To turn on the headlamp to the previously used mode, press the button completely. Once the light is on, press the button halfway to cycle through ultra low, low, mid, high, and turbo. To turn the headlamp off, press the button completely again. The HC65 will memorize the mode you were in for the next time. To access the high CRI output, half press the button for a half a second. To exit, press the button again. Either half press or full press will work. Finally, the red LED is accessed by pressing and holding the button completely for about a half a second. Exit the red LED the same way as the high CRI with either a full or half press on the button. There are also three special modes accessible when either the main or high CRI light is turned on. Simply press and hold the button for about a half a second and the light will enter strobe. Tap the button halfway to cycle through SOS and beacon. Press and hold the switch to exit special modes. Here's a look at the beam shots for the HC65, including all five primary brightnesses, the high CRI output and red output. The HC65 runs on a single 18650 battery which is included in the package. In a pinch, two CR123A batteries can also be used. Charging the HC65 can be done via the built-in charging port. To access, first unscrew the cap covering the USB port located near the power switch. Next, plug the included USB cable into any available power source and the light will begin to charge. A blue indicator light will blink to indicate charging and illuminate steady upon completion. Out of the box, the HC65 includes the headlamp, an adjustable headband, USB charging cable, spare O-rings, instruction manual, and warranty card. Hi, my name is Jeff Evans with Streamlight. I'm here today to present to you the 3 AAA Haslow Trident Headlamp. The Trident has a combination of both a close-up soft pattern beam as well as a distance capable beam for downrange applications. It has two power modes, high for maximum illumination and low for battery conservation. The Trident features a tilting head that pivots 90 degrees so you can orient the light towards your application. It has a large push button switch which you can operate easily with a gloved hand. The Trident also comes with a rubber strap, which fits nicely on a hard hat and won't allow the light to slip off, as well as a cloth strap that's more comfortable for your head. The light runs on three AAA batteries. It is Class 1 Division 1 rated for hazardous atmospheres. The Trident, with its low beam pattern for more detailed work, and high power output pattern for more distance oriented applications, might be the right headlamp for you when you're not sure which applications to run into on the job.